they, they need to go for master program or the management program MBA. But contrary, uh, agar aap, if you take the database of this year, pass out student those who pass out in uh, 2020 uh, from management program and uh, master program. So, the job-oriented program hai, that is agribusiness management, food and agribusiness management. And uh, MSc students, they are still struggling for getting jobs because MSc is meant for either in the teaching side or in the research side. Uh, so, which has a very limited amount of vacancy. This may job opening zada nahi hoti. If you talk about master program, MSc, and if you talk about any allied uh, programs. So, usme kahi na kahi job options ya, na to aapke teaching mein zada hote hain, na hi aapke research mein zada hote hain. In fact, in corporate also, uh, they are also, they have a very limited amount of openings in research. But, uh, MBA in food and agribusiness management student, unko ye problem face nahi ho hai because uh, kahin na kahin, uh, their education is more aligned towards professional uh, orientation and uh, more aligned towards job market. So they can be adjusted anywhere, whether it is a sales job, it is a marketing job, it is, uh, you know, HR job, it is operations job, cold storage, supply chain, anywhere. So now the student पहले स्टूडेंट ये डिसाइड करते हैं कि वी विल गो फॉर द एमएससी बेस्ड ऑन द फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज एंड बट बाद में वो बड़ा पछताते हैं दे फील इट दे फाउंड इट रियली डिफिकल्ट कि अब उनको जॉब कैसे मिलेगी सो माय सजेशन इज दैट गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवन अस सो मेनी ऑप्शंस इफ यू आर फेसिंग द फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज लाइक एजुकेशन लोन इज अवेलेबल स्टूडेंट दोस हु थिंक दैट यू नो फीस a course fee is really high in agribusiness management program, so let's go for master. But if you do this, you will think that now I have to do a little bit of course fee in a course fee. But later on, what would happen about my placement, you won't think about it. So what you are taking the decision for the two years, either it's a master program or a management program, MSc program or management program, it is the investment of your rest of the life. Your rest of the life is going to be your MSc program or management program. It is the investment of your rest of the life. It is the investment of your rest of the life. So, you have to think about it and uh, as far as financials are concerned, so we have scholarships available, uh, government has provided education loan support. These two years, you will be tight financially, but for the rest of the life, you will find it very good if you are really job focused. If you want to go to research, if you are more oriented towards civil services, research or maybe teaching side, then master program is the best one, no doubt. आप मास्टर्स जाइए, आप एमएससी करिए, आप देन फर्दर यू गो फॉर पीएचडी, डेफिनेटली, इट इस वंडरफुल। बट इफ यू आर फोकस टुवर्स जॉब मार्केट, आपको जॉब में जाना है, आपको अपना कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रक्चर में एंटर करना है, इफ यू वांट टू ओपन योर ओन स्टार्टअप, देन इन दैट केस एमबीएस द बेस्ट प्रो and where the financial issues are about, the financial issues are about, so you try to avail education loan, you try to avail the scholarship. In two years, in the chakkar of saving money, in the rest of the life, you cannot put in the dilemma. That, now in two years, let us, let's take the admission in MSC because of the financial issues and what happens later. Later, you have a big, now this year, the kids pass out in 2020, you talk to your seniors. जो मैंने ऑलरेडी एमसी पास कर लिया है, एमबीए पास कर लिया, यू टॉक टू देम एंड आस वेदर दे आर फेसिंग इश्यूज इन प्लेसमेंट और नॉट, यू विल गेट योर आंसर बाय योर सेल्फ, सो यू विल गेट द क्लेरिटी दैट इफ आई एम लुकिंग फॉर द जॉब मार्केट वेयर आई शुड गो, सो दिस मैसेज आई वांटेड टू शेयर विद ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स, � So fine, this video would have given uh, most of you an idea, like uh, how should be your uh, process of thinking should go if you want to uh, go ahead further. So with that, uh, let me just uh, show you some of the important facts that would be helpful for you making a decision regarding your career. So uh, as director sir has clearly said that do not make a decision based on a money. Okay, so right now, of course, uh, in India, most of the students struggle in making the payment for their fee and uh, due to which they 
choose a course which has a relatively lesser fee and that feels like a relief to them at that time but if you are paying at a premium in an institution which is promising you a very good career and future then it is worth it to go for so that you all have to please ensure it so let me just open this and then i'll share with you all if a student have any doubt they can text uh, put that uh, in the chat box and uh, they are being read by me so don't worry about it all the questions that have yet been asked they will be answered like a student is asking whether she should go for ma social work or uh, the other questions okay so i'll be answering don't worry about it let me go step by step that would be beneficial so in this career orientation webinar some of the important information that i'll be sharing this would be really help helpful for you and why we are doing this as an institution this is our responsibility to make aware students even the students those who are attending the agri business certification program those who have got selected based on their uh, eligibility as well as merit so they are attending the career uh, this agri business certification program the acp sessions and we have received very good feedback regarding that and now let me start with the this so first of all what are the career opportunities you have in your career uh, that you need to focus upon so some of the opportunities that you have after completing your graduation so you have traditional opportunities be it in the government sector you can enter into upsc or any of the competitive exam of the government then you have options in icar so in the icar you have certain options then you have uh public sector banks and public sector undertakings where there is an opening and then there are some limited options other well. so i'll uh, ask all the students to unmute mute themselves so that such kind of situation do not arise and uh, the student whosoever is not muted please ensure that you maintain the discipline so i am reading the chats uh, i'll answer it after i complete this so don't worry about it you keep uh, texting if you need any kind of queries so uh, these are the traditional opportunities now the recent opportunities that are coming is private sector and when the private sector got opened it is in the 1991 when the lpg happened so at that time this was opened uh, uh, if there is certain a technical issue and uh, in case because of network or fluctuation the meeting gets ended automatically so all of the students can immediately join within a minute uh, i'll resume it if it happens so don't worry about it so after this lpg happened in 1991 all of a sudden we have seen the kind of improvements in the people's earning that happened as well as the living quality what all we are seeing right now in after the 30 years of uh lpg that was done by the then finance minister uh, dr manmohan singh and the honorable prime minister late pv narsimha rao that is something which has brought so much of prosperity in india in past 30 year is still a long way to go but thankfully that happened so what are the sectors that we have so we have nbfc is one of the that then uh, we have food processing sector we have crop uh, crop and the insurance and there are multi agri input sector is there and there are multiple thing then when we have ngos and social sector that have come up international trade is of also one of that for agri business sector of course that we'll talk about this is a very big sector and then retail we have bpo technology we are housing and many other sectors in that then further go so this is the private sector that got opened up so what are the areas or the departments that are there uh, i'll ask again do not create any kind of no noise or disturbance this is for the benefit of the students i have still uh ensured that all remain on mute and in case anybody has any genuine query please write mm -hmm. on the chat box so what are the areas or departments that are there so the areas or department that can be areas of employment of course sales is there marketing is there 
then you have human resource and logistics so these are some of the areas of department that are there now further come to research so research is one of the uh, department that are there and after that you have teaching so can somebody think in this direction that what are the uh, path that you will choose to enter into certain uh, departments or certain areas that you want to work to how would you ensure that that if you want to enter into a particular stream which of the marketing stream or sales stream logistic or any of it how would you how which kind of course that you would choose so that you won't face any kind of problem or difficulty in any meeting only still i think some students are again having some problem so in that case i'll just log the meeting for all so that neither nobody would be able to join now as well as uh, all kind of right time just suspending for a while okay so this is the responsibility of all the participants to maintain the discipline i will not say this again uh, bhakti in case if uh, you find any such student you can immediately remove that student uh, sorry for the interruption so fine if you want to go into suppose sales marketing logistics and human resource you can directly go after your graduation as but then <clears throat> sorry that there was some problem in my <clears> throat so in that uh, you can directly go but they will not be a better options for you so for that what you will do you will say that okay i'll go for a higher studies and what are the higher studies options you have you will then think so you have one of course mba that you can do and the other is msc that you can do so if you want to enter into sales marketing logistic and human resource go for an mba mba is the right kind of path that will take you to your desired career and for that that would be helpful. since you are a agri business student that is the right way that you go for mba agri business that would be most beneficial and helpful now let's come to about research and teaching so here in research and teaching you have to enter into msc so there are certain demarcations for mba and msc what kind of career path you should choose there is nothing wrong or right as in in mba and msc but if you want to look for a higher uh, salaries higher growth and uh, a corporate career then of course mba is the right option and for msc you have limited opportunities after and very specific opportunities rather limited i should say that you want to enter into research you have to study a lot and that is also a good option but <clears throat> it takes time you have to do your phd and further study teaching teaching you can enter for msc if you want to get into a specialized teaching or also after mba you can do fellow program in management or even phd and through that also you enter into teaching now what are the major colleges in india that offer mba agri business so of course i am ahmedabad that institute offers both general management as well as food and agri business management at, and it is the top management institute not just in india but in the world and of uh, the food and agri business management at i am ahmedabad it is ranked world's best it's not just in india and then i am lucknow which is also one of the most sought after uh, institute among the students irma for rural management that is a ideal place manage uh, ministry of agriculture institute that offers agri business management nam again niftem food processing ministry institute vamnicom run by a society it's a very uh, good institute as well and then iipm bangalore niam these are the uh, majorly a government uh, player or run by any of the society then there are few players as well those who are in uh, are the private institutions and they are doing well and ensuring a very good package as well for the students so that is one uh, zavier institute of management and imperial school of agri business so these institute are also there that are there which students may not be rightly aware right now but of course so at iasab we ensure that all students get a short placement and on what basis we are making this claim is that we are promoted by indian chamber of food and agriculture 
which is an apex industry body of food and agri sector in india so with that this is being ensured that all students get placed and we have uh, relations with over 300 companies for placements and internship so that is the benefit that uh, iicb has so why mba this is again a very genuine and a serious question of course you are starting with a very good salary if you are doing an mba from a good institution you are sincere your salary would be in of course very good then the growth how much growth you are getting a growth of 15% to 50% depending upon your performance your organization you are part of and the growth in the sector it could be 50% as well in a year so this kind of growth you can get based on uh, these benefits now let me come to uh, what are the comparison if we do between a normal ug graduate and a masters mba graduate masters in management in any of the stream so a graduate starts of course with a lesser salary okay and uh, when the salary is less even if you get promoted all the chances are lesser because you are not having a higher education sometime make a hindrance for going into a higher post but even if you get promotion the promotion would be in a lesser amount but even after mba graduation you start your salary starts at around 50 to 60000 per month and every year you will be getting a good hike as well better promotion chances are there and can work in many sectors so when i say in many sector sales marketing operations logistics all you can work and after that there is also an option if you want to get into teaching you can get after doing an mba so better and more options there are there after doing your mba especially in food and agribusiness management why because you are already a student of agriculture so after that continuing your education into the same stream would have better and advantage uh, having advantage as compared to getting into a general mba like finance because finance is a then separate course so what are the job scenarios and uh, in agriculture and allied sector so this graph this tells you a lot clearly so as you can see um, all of you must be the student of somewhere third year final year or recently graduate so you are also part of this data now so what does uh, this data means the data says that uh, this uh, uh, students those who are completing their graduation now and further they want to go for further what kind of courses or what kind of programs they do 36% of the students go for msc only so this is a very staggering number oh, more than one third of the people go for msc so that is a big after that there are people who are sometime that happens that financially you have to join a job to support your family financially so these students may want to go for higher studies but could not because of certain reasons so that is there now let me come to the next government sector and ngos only 7% goes the reason is not that it, there is competition because there are only very lesser option so both things are there competition is there lesser options is, are there and then just 5% do post graduation in business management which is uh, very less and why is that so that we will discuss and then there are some 5 6% they enter into inter uh, entrepreneurship and 18% of the people are unemployed neither they are going for higher studies neither doing any job this is something very worrisome so how this could be resolved and what kind of things that can be done so this information that you are seeing right now is that it says that 80% of graduate population is entering into private sector it's not they want to enter into private sector because there is the only option where they have better chances of earning so that's why people enter into private sector the government sector the opportunities are limited very few people get into that and out of those 80% those who are entering into uh, private sector just 5% go for higher studies especially in uh, mba food and agri business management and uh, which is very less as compared to those students those who are opting for msc and msc is not as attractive option in today's world when the private sector is actually booming uh, as compared to mba so see just one more information here that why mba in food and agribusiness management is such a lucrative and a attractive option 
so it's a buzz a buzzword at campuses bringing a world of opportunities for you as i told in the last pie chart over 1 lakh agriculture graduates are passing out every year but just 2500 are able to make it to agri business management so there are some 11 institutes and 45 plus state agriculture universities offering agri business management courses and industry needs uh, an estimated 5000 plus agri mba agri business management widening at demand supply gap and industry salary offers are two times higher to institutes than seu this is something important and i would like to explain you on this uh, sentence what it says if you are doing your mba from any of the 11 institute that i have shown in the beginning uh, in a previous slide so those institute your salary would be certainly higher as compared to uh, you are doing from any agriculture university the reason why these institute are offering you, you know, more than double salary is because they are having very limited course and they are very much focused so that is some of the advantages that these institute are offering as compared to state agriculture university there is one more data that i would like to share that iacb being uh, a top management institute in the recent survey that is done by cacl uh, iacb have secured eighth rank in over 100 management institute in the agri b school survey 2021 so let me just show you that survey uh, that would be really beneficial to know you that what are the rankings uh, that are there uh, among the um, institutes i hope now this is visible to all uh is this sheet visible to everyone yes it is visible sir okay thank you for confirming so here in this uh, top agri business management d school in india which was uh, done by concept agro consultant limited this is the survey that is being done among uh, over 100 management institute Uh, what are the rankings so first let me give you a brief intro about uh, this survey what it says and what are the datas that have been taken so uh, this pandemic has uh, proven the metal of food and agri business management and uh, since we are seeing that more and more uh, this sector is being contributing for the benefit of the institution so that is definitely helpful for everyone and we have realized the importance that how good this is so cacl has conducted this survey in uh, february march 2021 and over 200 plus industry professional industry bodies and 1000 plus students from agriculture stream had been touch based to understand the performance of agri business institutions in india so that is there based on the survey that is done among the people or the stakeholders so of course the first ranking is in institute of management i am ahmedabad is there then i am lucknow which has ranked second uh, and the manage of course the third ranking that i've got irma have got the fourth uh, xavier uh, is one of the high ranked institution symbiosis is there and then niam jaipur national institute of marketing and, in, and then imperial school of agri business greater noida and then there are further other institutions so this survey was done among 100 management institutions of agri business in india and of that the ranking for top 15 was taken out so this is the ranking that is there the nam niftam and uh, iipm bangalore that are there so all such rankings are mentioned in that document so i hope this was helpful and uh, before i go further to explain you in the sector wise uh, specific job opportunities you have i'll be playing one video as well uh, that will give you a clear idea about the vision and mission of icp and how this would be beneficial for you all
Uh, please somebody confirm if this is audible or not. Uh, is it audible? Yes. Thank you. Demanding innovative food processing techniques and agriculture production. The country which depends on agriculture needs to have a dynamic and innovative skilled manpower and hence idea of establishing a new agribusiness management institute came into existence. ISAB has started with a vision to encourage and nurture excellence in the field of food and agribusiness management. ISAB is co-founded by Saurabh K. Pandey, who is an alumnus from GBPU ANT, Pantnagar and IIM Ahmedabad and has a vision to come up with the world-class management institution in the field of food and agribusiness. ISAB is an innovation-driven institution which realizes the thin difference between manager and quality manager which are needed for the rapid growth of our food and agribusiness industry. ISAB nurtures a dream to become leading agribusiness institute with its unique pedagogy, uh, including live projects and also nine areas of specialization. At ISAB, our sole agenda is to provide the best placement opportunity to our student and fill them with the spirit of entrepreneurship, which will take their career to the next level. The agribusiness program consists nine elective areas, which is a unique proposition offered by ISAB. ISAB has rich support of 100 plus agribusiness companies and industry associations, foreign institutions to make it vibrant and relevant to the global food and agribusiness industry. ISAB has a well experienced panel of 50 plus corporate heads, advisors and academia for taking courses on professional skills and business innovations. Its panel of visiting faculty includes first generation entrepreneurs from IIT, IIMs who bring real life business experiences in the classroom. Under the patronage of KCC Institute, ISAB operates in best in class infrastructure where world class academic and hostel facilities are available for the students. A well furnished, fully air conditioned auditorium, modern library, well lit spacious lecture halls, tutorial and computer labs and hostel with 24-7 CCTV camera surveillance which provides a safe and perfect ambience of a home away from home. The state-of-the-art dining area, vegetarian and non-vegetarian students, fully functional gym with best-in-class gym equipment and skilled trainer, indoor and outdoor sports facilities like table tennis, billiards, carom, basketball, lawn tennis, volleyball and football will keep you charged up throughout your stay at ISAB. ISAB takes the advantage of Delhi NCR which is the hub of the largest number of corporate offices and hosts the largest number of conferences and seminars in India which provides opportunities for students to avail frequent live internships and also attend seminars and conferences on a weekly basis. Campus of ISAB is situated in Knowledge Park 3, Greater Noida, which is a knowledge hub of more than 100 institutes which provides a vibrant education ambience, exchange of culture and all-round development of students. ISAB is very well connected with hospitals, public road transport, metro train station and shopping malls nearby. ISAB adopts its own admission process called Imperial School of Agribusiness Entrance and Scholarship Test ISA Best which comprises component of aptitude test, psychometric test, academic performance in 10th, 12th and graduation, extracurricular activities, group discussion and personal interview and shortlist the best fitman for food and agribusiness management program. Agriculture Today is committed to participate and promote the Imperial School of Agribusiness across all sectors of agriculture and the agriculture industry. Imperial School of Agribusiness which is promoted by the graduates of IIM Ahmedabad and uh, who come from different agriculture universities. This institute has collaborated with ICFA, Indian Chamber of Food and Agriculture as the apex body in India having various industry working groups and in each working group there are about 40 top CEOs and members 
and worldwide presence with the collaboration with the top institutions of excellence like University of Maryland, University of California, University of uh, Western Australia, Perth, Michigan State University and so on. He is happy to be uh, promoter and partner of this institution to make this a global institution of excellence and to see that the graduates who join this institute make their best career in food and agriculture sector nationally and globally. Let me start by congratulating the School of uh, Agribusiness. Uh, it's uh, not only a great idea, it's also very timely because uh, we have a serious crunch of talent in the area of agribusiness. And agribusiness is the major business that's going to come forward in the coming time. I'm very happy to learn that School of Agribusiness is uh, going to be established in Delhi. And uh, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, the, this school is uh, being established in right time. The country wants and agriculture sector want this kind of initiative. In the field of agriculture, this requirement of this type of uh, college was very much needed to give the most desired Philip to agriculture. I wish all the best for the success of this institute. I wish all the best for the School of Agribusiness. It's a huge effort to train the next generation of leaders and I know that you will have a great opportunity to do so with your institution. Congratulations. Firmly believe that it is the responsibility of an institute to not only educate students but also create a long-term career prospects and help them to build a satisfactory life for themselves. If you are considering to build your career in food and agribusiness management, then ISAB can become your pathfinder. So here you have gone through the basic video that we have made and this is just an introduction and I, what I am seeing in most of the cases what the questions that have been asked in the uh, chat that I am seeing is regarding the placement that is the output from the institute and regarding the fee. So that is the input. So I'll focus on these two aspects first of all as many students are now asking me sir how things will be after graduating from MBA food and agribusiness management at IACB. So I'll assure you of some of the benefit and some of the things that you will be for sure getting is first of all you will be having a wonderful experience at IACB the campus is having world class infrastructure 44 acre of uh, area campus that is there and there are vibrant uh, environment that is there there are multiple um, it's not just uh, management institute there are law institute as well there is engineering institute so all kind of students interact with each other with their specific uh, uh, like uh, career prospects what they are looking for and their studies so that is there having a hostel within the campus a fully residential campus has its own advantage of peer learning so in a management education, you do not learn everything inside the class or through the books. You learn from each other or the friends and you make new friends and you interact with them. So this is the most important aspect that you will be getting. Now comes to the classes and the study. So for the classes and the study, there is one important thing that you will be seeing is that the faculties that are there at IACB are mostly from top management institutions like IITs, IIMs and ICAR having corporate exposure. It's not just like that. They are teaching in the, any institute only, but also having a corporate uh, professional uh, experience so that they are aware what kind of latest update are there in this situation. So these are there. Now you will be suppose uh, getting selected and taking admissions. What are the internship and placement opportunities? So there are five internships that IACB he ensures that every student of it does. One is your main summer internship that happens after completing your one uh, year, that is two semester. After that, you go for an internship that is a six to eight week internship that you do. Along with that, there are four online internships we ensure that students do. One online internship that you do in your first year, just after completing your first semester. Why this is being ensured? Because this is what the industry demand having an industry exposure to a student is very much beneficial for them so that's why this is being ensured these online internships are parallel to your studies 
so we ensure with the organization that you do not have to devote more than an hour in a day or maximum 10 hours a week so it's not like that you are going in internship how will you do your studies so it's not uh, the way things work now let me come to the placement so the, for the placement side icb having tie up with over 100 plus organizations through agripositions.com which is an hr recruitment firm we ensure that all students get placed with decent packages and the average of the batch goes around 5 to 6 lakh per year that is a pretty decent at a time where covid is uh, having such kind of difficulty where even the students from ims have lost their offers that were made by uh, big uh, companies so that we ensure at in the short uh, time now this is the placement site so you are having a short placement some of the students were asking about the fee as well as about the scholarship so let me go on uh, and talk about these things as well so for a scholarship many of the students must have heard about the scholarship that iacb offer and some students sometime also have certain confusion so i'll be specific on this and i'll be share uh, sharing one poster with you and that would be really helpful for you about the fame scholarship that iacb provide So we have ensured that students at IECB, they are certainly getting any scholarship based on any of the merit they are having or based on the poor economic condition of their family. So any student having a merit in his 10th, 12th and graduation of equal to 8 CGP or above 8 CGP will be getting a scholarship of 1.20 lakh. And suppose the same student is also having an annual income below 4.5 lakh but above 3 lakhs, then he will get uh, additional 75,000 under the economic condition. And the total of the scholarship that the student will get is 1.2 plus 75, that is 1.95 lakh, which is part of FAME scholarship. So FAME scholarship is a provision that IACB has done. So the fee of the institute is 6.5 lakh. This is the academic fee. On that, suppose a student is getting a 1.95 lakh scholarship. So his or her fee would reduce to 4.55 uh, lakh. So that will be done and based on that the he or she has to pay the fee in per semester so we are giving them the option that students pay per semester so they do not have much of the burden so that is there that is the one benefit you are getting now let me continue further with the specific uh, information that i was providing you and in between i have gone through this so that we have shown uh, you about the industry needs an estimated 5000 plus MBA agree business which are not yet being supplied by the education industry to the agribusiness industry and this is a big concern for everyone now we will be discussing further about the other benefits so what are the important topics i'm skipping this because this is not important as in right now so what are the emerging trends that are there that are mentioned and government interventions so government interventions are there are multiple government interventions that are happening and now let me come to industry wise career prospects that you have so the industry wise career prospects you are having one is food processing industry so this industry is called a sunrise sector because it is growing leaps and bound in india 30 year back you have seen very few things that were actually packed okay but in today's world, what you are seeing, even everything is getting processed and then packed so that its self life increases. And that is where this industry uh, backbone is. So there are mega parks that are being sanctioned and already functional, many of them. It has 32% share in India's food market, which is almost 828 billion is a little older data. So it is almost 1 trillion, that is 1000 billion that is reaching. Dairy technology management, it is called Indian economy's milk cow. Why it is called? Because it is providing highest number of employment after in information technology industry, that is IT sector. So after that, dairy industry is providing highest number of people employment and which is going to overtake the number of people uh, they will be getting employed in this sector to IT sector as well soon. So that is the benefit here. What is the contribution of the dairy sector in India's agriculture GDP? It's 26%. That is one fourth of the industry's contribution of agriculture GDP comes from dairy technology and management industry only. And market is expected to reach 265 billion by 2023. And annual CAGR is uh, for next five years would be 
16%. Then comes the industry and farm machinery management. So farm mechanization is something which is important. So farm mechanization has been happening in India since over four decades now, but still there are a lot of opportunities that we can see here and they are being increasing day by day. And this is where the progress as well as growth lies and also a potential for the uh, students to choose farm machinery sector as in wor for working in this sector because there are high number of opportunities that you are having. So here what you are seeing, uh, suppose the potential of micro irrigation is 69 million hectare in India. But what is the coverage? Coverage is just 7.7 .7 million hectare. And how less is this coverage right now? Because earlier things were not being done in a way that should have been done because of having a limited liquidity uh, in the market or not having the market grown to that potential, which is growing now. So the 10 times is the uh, coverage that is required for this. And farm machinery market is expected to reach 18 billion by 2024 because everyone knows now there are people those more and more farmers are now moving at a faster pace for the uh, mechanization uh, for farming practices. Now, agri input management. So, agri input, of course, this is again related to agriculture and then farm produce. So, if the farm mechanization is happening, also agri input will happen so that the yield per acreage increases. So, what is the industry size in 17, 2017 was uh, 26 billion and it is the world's fourth largest agrochemical producer and estimated annual CAGR is 10%. So that is one of the biggest sector where the uh, companies uh, hire the newly MBA graduates and they pay them very decently even if you are getting a marketing job uh, or you are giving some 810 districts, you also get a vehicle. So that is something uh, pretty you know, fascinating for a young graduate. Then comes the poultry management. What are the paradigm shift that has happened? So with the changing practices of food, what we have seen in India that more and more people are now open for having a diverse kind of food choices. And then, then it comes. This is its own benefit and advantages that it provides. So the contribution around 3.7 billion to the national income that it is providing and provide employment to 16 million people. So right now, this sector is valued at 11.5 billion with commercial organized sector comprising around 80%. So then one thing that it benefits this sector is having highest percentage of organized uh, sector. Because in India, most of the sector are working at traditional benefit this that this sector provides. Now comes legs to horticulture and farm management. So this is called farming's brightest spot. Why this is called? I'll tell you. Most of the startups that have come up in food and agribusiness sector has come in this sector only like uh, industry, like Ninja Carter, the Gramophone, Propin, and uh, Dehat. All such are into this sector in the farm management because they, it is somewhere related to technology. And when technology comes into place, there are efficient agriculture practices that are being introduced and that is why most of the startups are entering into this sector. The second largest producer of fruits and vegetables we India is across the globe and accounts for 30% of India's agriculture GDP. So I'll tell you, dairy sector having a 26% agriculture GDP and horticulture and farm management 30% of agriculture GDP. So both of them combinedly contributing 56% to the India's agriculture GDP. So that just these two industries having more than half of the share. And this sector is attracting maximum investment. Recently, the Gramophone have got a very big funding uh, in the venture uh, round. So that is beneficial. And now comes animal health management. So when there is a dairy sector which is growing, of course, the animal health sector will grow. So uh, expected to grow at uh, 8% and 850 million si uh, market size is there. And more than 50 companies are operating alone in India in this sector. So these are the benefit or the advantages that are there uh, here. Now comes to uh, commodity management. So commodity management, uh, this is a sector which is not very fascinating earlier or not being grown as per the expectation. But since this is having not saturated enough, now it is growing at a faster rate. So I'll tell you about ISCB. I am seeing most of the questions are related to about the admissions. So I'll answer them as well. So ISCB now carrying the legacy of over 14 years of excellence. It is 
being said that this is a future of agri agribusiness sector that this institute will make a mark and this institute have its alumni working in more than 100 companies in food and agribusiness sector in india and abroad and they are working senior position it itself gives you an advantage of uh, uh, being part of this institution having a good alumni connect so these are the facilities that we are providing so this is the main academic buildings and the photo was taken from the place uh, this place is hostel and this is the uh, in the hostel basement having a mess and uh, the library main library and uh, these are the meeting rooms as well as this is a classroom what are the usp that iacb has so iacb having one of the most important aspect is we are supporting in student financially in whichever possible way we can do so there we help a student facilitate in getting education loan one there is an scholarship which i have shared with you 270000 rupees scholarship students can get based on merit and economic condition and it is not for like top 10 students and uh, like that every student who satisfies the eligibility condition will get an scholarship the 40% tuition fee pay later option for weaker and needy students is still the students after getting the scholarship if a student is weaker you will already get a 1.5 lakh scholarship is still if that student is not able to manage his expenses or fee 40% of the fee he or she can pay later and then 100% assured career option to all the students it is being ensured since the very inception in the 2007 9 batch which has passed in 2009 when the recession was going on in india 100% students were placed at that time and cgpa greater than 7 or job experience more than 2 year can directly appear in group discussion and personal interview so that it has has, a, has its own advantage so if any student in their graduation even till 6 semester if you are in a final year having above 7 cgpa or equal to 7 or 70% and more than 2 years of job experience you can directly appear for online group discussion and personal interview for taking admission and iacb you are exempted from giving online aptitude examination so that would be a one more benefit that you are having now what are the visiting faculties these are the visiting faculties mostly are from iim ahmedabad they take session a specific on a topic depending upon the need of a course or any of the uh, like uh, industry trends so they take so in these are people from top management institutions that are being interacting with the students in a virtual platform there are many webinars that have already been done and you can see in our youtube channel as well so there are multiple kind of webinars that happen now let me give you some of the academic advisors of prestigious management institutions so these are the academic advisor and they mean help us in maintaining the academic excellence at iacb some of the recruiters so again that is the important aspect that is coming the output what you will get after graduating from iacb so you will get a assured placement in a good organization with a very decent package and the how sincere you are and work hard you will be getting a bit better placement opportunities for that matter so icp leverages its unique advantage of being promoted by agripositions.com having over 300 plus companies associated that is one and having tie up with 100 plus firms for placement support these are the leading firms that are being invited for internship as well as for placement of icp student and then uh, these students get placed in these organization what are the partner institutions so icp is a global exchange program so if students wants to visit to any uh, foreign university for a while they can avail this uh, advantage to join this student exchange program part of mba food and agribusiness management here they visit in their four semester uh, for some uh, 30 to 45 days any university and then they continue their studies there and uh, certain information for students can visit at our website uh, so that is there and this institute being founded by an alumnus of iim ahmedabad so one thing is is being ensured very clearly is about your quality of education and the placement now i'll just uh, give few minutes uh, before i take your questions and we'll give you some of the glimpses of the institute campus because many students are interested to see like what kind of 
uh, life or the campus is there. So that I'm doing. And before that, I'll be sharing one link with you all. So on that, uh, you all can see all the details. If anybody has any query regarding placements or fee structure or scholarship, so everything is being covered in this message. So you, you go through this message and uh, you can further share this message as well to your friends. So I have texted in the chat box, uh, just see that. And uh, by that time, let me just take you to the website. So in this section uh, about the placement details, you can go, what are the advantages, ICDS, recruiters, alumni, FAQs. Then in the admission sections, there are multiple tabs here you can see. The prospectus is very much available here. If students want to interact with the IACB students, so there is one student council of IACB. So in the online admission form only at the top, what you can do, you can see the students uh, contact details. These are all secretaries of any club or cell and then you can interact with them. The admission form is also mentioned that any interested student can fill. There is the scholarship details that are mentioned. So there is one more thing that has been added recently. Uh, just today, this is being announced to everyone that we are providing now the COVID relief scholarship for students. So any student who is facing financial difficulty, he will be availing COVID scholarship along with the FAME scholarship that they are availing. So these are the two scholarship that they can avail. So this is also one of the advantage that you are getting. And now let me take you to the student section. So in the student section, uh, uh, student life at IACB, uh, the uh, information about the SCI member and video resume of students that are there. So you can see them as well. And these are the existing students from which university they have done their graduation that is also mentioned. So you can also connect with your seniors if you are from the same university. And most of the things that a student wants to know, how is the campus life? And of course, that is something has its own value. And uh, this is being taken positively by the students. So these are the glimpses of the students. Uh, they have spent their fun moment or uh, doing presentations or other activities at IACB. So these are the lawn area, the library, and uh, this is uh, the, uh, the books that they are studying. This is a classroom. It's a a smart classroom having projector air conditions and all so all kind of uh, facilities being provided and this is uh, 24 into 7 wi-fi connectivity so that is also beneficial in making presentation so these are the things that will you will be getting uh, at iacb and those students those who are interested and wants to apply you fill the form first the form fees is rupees 200 once you fill the form after that there will be an assessment if you are having above 7 cgpa you will be directly called for group discussion if you are having below 7 cgpa then you will be appearing for online aptitude test once you give the test then you will be appearing for group discussion and personal interview some students think that okay if you pass in the group discussion or uh, online test then only your, your interview will happen no Everyone will complete the whole selection process, every step, be it online aptitude test, your 10th, 12th marks, your extracurricular activity, your uh, group discussion assessment and personal interview, all are combined and the final results are made. So if some student, okay, my 10th score are not uh, good. So how would I overcome this? So you can perform well in the given uh, steps or the components which are yet to happen, like group discussion and personal interview, that would be helpful for you for that matter so that is there that you will be doing so once your interview happens uh, if you get selected you will receive an email communication having all details so we are expecting that we'll be starting the classes as per the ugc norms and generally in the normal year that it starts in the month of august so that what we are thinking and planning so any student having any further query they can ask so i think one student having to sure he has raised hand so to sure you can ask your query if you want any student, Ria has asked about the placement salary. More students can put their comment. Uh, so I'll be answering them now. So placement is assured salary would depend upon the organization which is offering. A salary of 10 lakh could also be offered. That is the uh, responsibility of the students to convert those offer. Okay. 
so if a student gets converted we invite companies from all over india in all parts of india they hire and these there are companies having abroad operations so companies they see your performance for one two year in their organization and if you do good then of course they will take you for the uh, their abroad locations as well there is one student who is asking me about the fee structure so let me give you uh, the details about fee structure as well let me open you the tab as only so the course fee for indian nationals that is mentioned so here you can see uh, the fee is the, uh, given so registration fee admission fee that is mentioned academic fee uh, are also mentioned here there is one document of fee structure uh, which has the details about the fee of the institute the academic fee which is 6.5 lakh a uh, caution fee to be 30000 is fully refundable so you don't have to worry about it and then food and accommodation fee so food and accommodation fee charges are mentioned as per your choice and your financial condition you can choose triple occupancy double occupancy and single occupancy rooms ac and non ac non ac means the cooler room and now it is up to your choice ideally we prefer students to choose uh, uh any of the double occupancy room because uh, triple occupancy is something uh, which sometime is uh, very more so these are the uh, details about the fee that are mentioned and this is the fee structure so you will be paying per semester fee you don't have to worry about it suppose any student is opting for pay later option so in the same proportion like it is being here it is shown about your first semester second semester third semester and fourth semester fee in the same proportion your fee would be re reduced in all the semester so you don't have to worry about that i choose a pay later option how would i pay 60% of my fees as 40% fee is having a pay later option so this is how you will uh, pay for that matter so that is there students who are facing difficulty in arranging the loan they can also take loan from any of the private lenders as well because your placement is assured so you don't have to worry that how will you pay it one student has asked how many batches have passed so so far this is the ninth batch which is going on eighth batch have passed so you don't have to worry about it um, uh, you having a, a good alumni base highest package at iacb so far have gone to 10 lakh but it could go above as well uh, depending upon the performance of the students as well so these are the benefit uh, that you are having and uh, fee and hostel charges i have given placement salaries i have given and uh, other details i have also provided still if any student have any, any questions they can ask and uh, those students who are in third year and they are looking for it what better you can do you prepare for cat and through cat you can get the best of the management institute of india if you are getting an iim ahmedabad with your performance and capability that is a worth taking for so that you go for uh, abroad uh, placements are not offered in abroad directly but there are companies those hire for india operations uh, maruti and from there they can further uh go for uh, like uh, your abroad uh, placement so these kind of benefits that can be done so they are there and those students those who want to really make career in this field they have to be sincere and work really hard for making a mark in the industry as well as being a successful career if any student has any further query or anything in their mind they can ask me uh, will the first semester go online so we can't say right now things are improving since it is in august that uh, as per the expected thing will happen so we are hoping that it will open last year we had to start in the november as per the ugc guideline and uh, second semester uh, even in the first semester and on 15th of feb we have invited all the students to join from the campus and students have attended but uh, by 30th of april we had to again uh, close the campus because of the covid mayhem that has happened so that is there uh, certain i am seeing some of the comments that uh, um, they uh, appreciating comments that are there so other than cat exam is there any other exam icp accept all kind of management uh, competition examination like mat cmat zat etma as well as gmat that you go for the abroad studies in uh, in the universities so all kind of management exam icp accept if you not if did not have give any of the exam again you have the option to give for iasa best examination 
and having above 7 cgpa directly makes you eligible for group discussion and interview so don't worry about it so the batch generally starts in uh, august so don't worry about that uh, somebody has asked about the highest placement at uh, i am ahmedabad and i am lucknow so and that goes a uh, very high uh, like uh, highest could they, their go could 1 crore as well so i think you could better get the information on their website uh, other student have asked about uh, since icb also provide a free laptop so free laptop is being provided at the very beginning but in situation had the uh, uh, classes go online suppose so in that situation we will not be able to ship it so what do we do we reduce a certain fee from uh, amount from your fee so that you can directly buy a laptop then you also have a choice if you have existing laptop then there is not a force to buy that thing i am one more uh, link i am sharing so that since the students those who have joined they can also get a certificate of participation by attending this webinar so this information is again for everyone so everyone can register on this link so that uh, they will be we have the information of you and uh, through that we will be able to provide you a certificate of participation after iscb webinar series gets completed which will be completing by the end of july so till then we are conducting multiple kind of webinars on uh, multiple platforms and these were really beneficial for the student so that is something uh, uh, beneficial and some students are asking about very specific college other than iacb i would rather suggest them they can visit the website of those colleges so i'll tell you here uh, iacb has a very young and a very uh, driven team so that would be beneficial for all of you if you want to join that would be really beneficial and we ensure a surety of your career your placement is being assured the quality of education these things are really being assured here so that would be helpful if any student have any doubt they can tell me or else we can conclude this session i think students cannot unmute themselves that is one of the reason uh, can students now unmute themselves they can unmute yeah so students can unmute and uh, whatever queries you have you can tell me so one student have asked do going abroad as a part of course curriculum this is not part of a mandatory course curriculum you can make a choice for it okay so that is a choice that we are providing to you so this is the benefit that you are getting so don't worry about will you go or not how much it will cost because this is a self financed program we as an institute are facilitating the process so that is in your own benefit and advantage so that is there so with that i would like to thank you all uh, since a uh, large number of students have participated so i cannot thank you all as uh, personally calling by calling personally but still those students who have asked question those who have heard and still have any query i have uh, given all the details my contact details are also mentioned so any of the student they want they can just reach out to me or any of my team member so you will be getting all details so you don't have to worry about that so in the end i'll be posting the details about uh, the iacb as well once so a student can copy this and they can go into detail so with that i think uh, all is fine if any student have any query i am here for two minutes so they can ask A student can now unmute themselves so you can ask by unmuting as well yeah divyanshu as you are asking what you study in mba so in mba you study about the management aspect and the applied practices that will be helpful for you in working corporate so there are four semester in that you will be doing internship projects as well as attending classes so focus on your classes whatever you are learning apply it whenever you are on your internship so this way this would be helpful how many seats this college is happening having so this college has a batch of 60 such kind of two batches can happen so 60 is the batch size that is their maximum batch size is 60 uh, that we allow as per the government norms as well and to maintain the quality of education 
So students having any other query, they can ask me and uh, or, or else, and then I'll conclude it. So some student have texted me as well. Uh, our team will be responding uh, to those queries as well. So don't worry about it uh, for anything. Uh, we'll be helping you out on this. Uh, one student has asked Divyanshu, I couldn't get your query that uh, some students are having competition. So could you be specific? on this query, what you have asked. Uh, Divyanshu, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ha, uh, please ask what you have, uh, what you uh, have written. Sir, um, uh, business school me kushe competitions hote hai, just like uh, Okay, inter-competition, inter-college yes, competition. Yes. Of course, you can participate. Uh, we also conduct such kind of competition. So that would be beneficial. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, okay, with that, uh, thank you, uh, Divyanshu, for such kind of uh, queries that you have been asking and multiple kind of queries that you have. And I hope I have resolved all such queries. Still, any student have query, my contact details are mentioned in the message I have shared. I'll share it again. So, it's students can uh, reach out to me and they can text me and uh, also call me so our team will be able to answer your queries for that matter okay i wish you all the very best and be safe in this difficult time because everyone now we are facing the kind of challenges and everyone is going through this tough time of covid so please take care of your health your health is the first priority and then comes everything so your health your family please take care of them okay with that thank you so much Thank you, sir.